Okay guys, a few quick notes before I start the review. First and most important, I have not fished these reels yet. Over here in Chicago we just got defrosted and I don't do ice fishing. So hopefully next week I finally get a chance to start fishing them. But this particular review will be strictly out of the box first impressions. No durability or longevity or that kind of stuff and second and which is the reason i bought these reels i plan in the next few months to make a full review and compare them against their 200 dollar sisters so uh, if you're interested in uh, finesse spinning reels uh, please give me a sub and uh, you can check the full review when i have more experience with them so for today we're just going to compare specifications and my uh, immediate out of the box impressions. Okay, first of all the price. I'll give you both the retail and the Amazon price as of today, but you're aware that the Amazon prices fluctuate quite a bit. But as of today, the Legalis LT is 69 retail and 50 on Amazon. The Exceller LT is 79 retail and 57 on Amazon and the Sahara FI this is the 2017 version is uh, also 79 retail but the cheapest I was able to find it on Amazon was uh, 69 I don't include eBay prices anymore because I don't think the eBay reels are the same as the retail reels because I had too many like Every other reel I get from eBay has some kind of issues and has to be returned. So those eBay prices kind of factor in the number of returns I'm going to have to do. And uh, I don't quote eBay prices anymore. The first point of comparison for me is usually the rigidity of the frame. Now for the Exceller, uh, for the Exceller and the Legalis, uh, Daiwa says they're using their special LT concept carbon which LT stands for light and tough I don't know what's uh, so special about that carbon and Shimano doesn't advertise any per any special you know materials for constructing the frame but you know these are finesse reels I'm gonna be catching crappy and trout with them so you know I, I try to flex them I couldn't get any of them to flex with you know reasonable pressure so to me it's a tie they're all rigid enough but if somebody asked me to pick a winner I would probably pick the Shimano just because that frame is significantly heavier and you know physics uh, heavier stuff is usually stronger Diver still keeps putting a reverse knob here. I don't know who still keeps using this thing. To me it's a first a waste of resources and second it creates a weakness and an entry point for water and dirt and it's just a lose lose proposition but uh, probably they have some uh, old time buyers who I don't know got used to it or something but anyhow both the Legalis and the Exceller have this knob and Shimano as in the Stratic they got away with this thing which to me is like I said total advantage here are the handle knobs you can see the huge difference in thickness Daiwa uses this slim small handle knobs that I just fell in love with by the way this is the exact same handle knob that they put on their $220 theory and it feels just as good so uh, plus this this handle knob has less free plate it still has a little bit but the Shimano handle knob has, let me get it tight to show you a little bit more free play now neither free play you can feel when you reel at least I can't and I'm really picky 
but you know just saying to me the Daiwa uh, knobs are much more comfortable and they uh, fit uh, tighter as well Next, the handle attachment the Legalis and the Sahara has the same mechanism used in all cheap reels basically there is a knob on the other side of the handle you take it off and the whole handle comes out okay hexagonal axis and you tighten it and you know it's okay used for decades nothing wrong with it except the ceiling is not as good as in the screwing handles the Exceller probably the only advantage that it has only the over the Legalis is that it has a screwing handle meaning there is no access that goes through the reel and this is a feature of the only of the expensive reels you can see no knob on the other side okay it's just thread and it screws in on the thread and that way water cannot get in so I strongly prefer this method of attachment it just I don't know in, from engineering point of view seems far superior to me but practically uh, there is very little difference in terms of uh, free play of the actual handle all three reels see this one is screwing it still has a little bit of free play all three of them see this one has a knob but it's pretty tight but it still has a little bit of see a little bit of free play and all three of them have to me see the same amount of uh, free play regardless of how the handle is attached uh, so to me that's a tie for all three reels spool capacity I've said before I don't care for uh, line capacity very much and particularly in fresh water and particularly when fishing for trout or crappie for me the less the capacity the better and uh, in that respect uh, while all three spools have the same diameter and the same kind of they would have had the same capacity if they had the same inner diameter the Shimano spool is actually a little bit less deep I already put the line so I can't show you but this spool is a little bit less shallow meaning the outside diameters are the same but the inner diameter is a little bit bigger on the Shimano and it takes uh, I think only 160 meters of uh, 0 0.25 millimeter while the other two they have identical spools they take 190 meters of 0 0.25 millimeter line this is the legalis now i had to add one shim uh, that comes uh, was provided in the box uh, i had to put one shim under the spool to make the line lay like this uh, initially it was a little bit high but after the shim and that's normal guys uh, even the 220 do uh, dollar Daiwa theory I had to put a shim to get this line lay as well so after the shim looks pretty good to me I don't want to say perfect because it's not perfectly flat it's a little bit higher on top and the bottom but I mean pretty damn good the exceller you know is one of the very few reels that I own that came with almost perfect line lay without adding any kind of shims and I really that that really impresses me I really like this you know because sometimes you get to the middle of the you, you put like a hundred yards of line until you can see that you know it's a little bit heavy on top or on the bottom and even if you add a shim now it's too late to compensate so you know it creates issues I don't know why they can't engineer the reels to come with good line, lay, uh, good line lay out of the box but uh, yeah this line lay you can tell for yourself 
uh, no shims and looks a little bit better than the legales or for that matter you can see the $220 diver theory maybe the Excelor has better line lay even than the theory I mean they're all pretty good nobody would complain from this kind of line lay but uh, yeah the Excelor impressive line lay out of the box the Sahara pretty good now I also had to add one shim uh, for this one the expensive uh, brother or sister was good out of the box but this one I had to add one shim but after the shim what do you think I think pretty good but anyway if you know how to do that all three reels have a great line lay the drag power on these uh, three reels is either a joke or some marketing gimmick because these numbers are utterly ridiculous look at the Shimano 20 pounds of drag the Legalis and the Acceler have identical you know drags inside the spool they have 22 pounds of drag so we have 20 on the Daiwa uh, on uh, the Shimano and 22 on the Daiwa and uh, Look guys, I have a 4 pound line on these reels. What good is 20 pounds of drag? Okay? I mean, who who uses this kind of reel and needs 20 pounds of drag? This is this is absolutely absurd. Um, even if you had a line that was 20 pounds strong and still very thin, I mean, would you put 20 pounds of pressure on a uh, I don't know, on a freaking crappy, or even if you hook the catfish by mistake. Do you think this reel will sustain 20 pounds of pressure? I mean, you're gonna bust the gears. This is not a metal body. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this is, but I guess they're competing from a marketing perspective and they keep going higher and higher and more into the realm of absurdum with these uh, drag numbers. The drag function and the drag sound is uh, what I care about. And uh, with respect to smoothness, all three reels out of the box, perfectly buttery smooth drag. But I told you before, the sound of the drag is really important to me. I like loud, vibrant sound. I want it to be vibrant like a guitar string. I mean, nothing I enjoy more than listening to the sound of drag peeled by a, a decent sized fish. Now with that respect, the like I said, the Excelor and the Legalis have the same drag sound, but it's really muffled. I don't know why. Usually the Shimano sound is very muffled, but on the high-end reels. Okay, now Daiwa on their $60 reels muffled the sound. It's no longer loud, it's no longer vibrant. The same with the Excelor. The Shimano, this time, much louder drag. It's still not vibrant, but much louder. So, I don't know. This would uh, raise my adrenaline much more than uh, the Dye was. So, to me, drag sound, Advantage Shimano Alarm Both Legalis and Excelor have uh, this uh, hollow thick bail arm which has like a silent operation very smooth I never trip with this not even to test it I always manually flip it back but uh, I love this uh, bail on the Daiwa reels and now even a $50 reel uh, has this smooth, silent, uh, thick bail. It just looks like something expensive. The Shimano, you know, if you look, that's not because the reel is cheap. Even the $200 Stratic CI4, the same thin bail arm and it has the same clickety operation which 
people say you know it's positive prevents premature see same even the, on the expensive one even louder uh, what premature for these reels you know I just want silent if you cast all the time you know jigging you have to hear this a million times it, it gets to you so I much much more prefer the silent and uh, thick one on the divers now when it comes to overall weight of the reel we have the biggest difference among these uh, three reels the divers uh, being identical reels naturally they weigh the same at uh, 205 grams the shimano however weighs 250 grams so this is almost two full ounces heavier than the diver reels even though it's exactly the same size the spools are exactly the same and even the line capacity is actually less so if you are looking for an ultra light reel for you know one of those sessions that you fish six hours a day and uh, weight really matters um, the shimano will uh, will be significantly heavier uh, but you know something very interesting when i put them on a rod just to spool line on them it was very difficult to notice that difference in weight especially since it's two full ounces you know if you just lift it like this you can tell this one is heavier but once you put it on a rod and start reeling I couldn't tell the difference and uh, I'll tell you later in the review why I think that is gears first the smoothness of the gears guys I, uh, I thought very hard about this one and this is again uh, out of the box you know kind of impression it will be different after a few months of use but out of the box you know I tried very hard to feel which of the reels you know is smoother and like i said these two reels to me are identical the Exceller and the legalis only difference being uh, sparkly paint here versus matte black paint on the legalis and screw handle instead of uh, through the body handle so they have exactly the same kind of feel uh, and smoothness because they use the same gears inside but uh, you know comparing the Shimano uh, man it I already knew this ones will be super smooth because you know I tested them at the show but this one man it's it's just as smooth if not smoother you know in in my table at the end of the review I called the gear smoothness a tie between the three reels but if somebody asked me to break the tie I would pick the Shimano you know it doesn't look like it but it's got this Shimano magic it just feels like a perfect contact inside the reel so uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna call it a tie they, they both feel unbelievably unbelievably smooth uh, particularly for something you know of, of this price range if if somebody told me without uh, knowing that these are whatever two hundred dollar reels, uh, just two years ago, I would say, "Yep, it feels like a two hundred dollar reel to me." But uh, yeah, they have been putting these uh, technologies in lower and lower end reels, and now we can enjoy uh, incredible smoothness uh, even at the sixty dollar price range. Same thing with the noise. All three reels are super quiet they they really feel and sound like a 200 dollar reel to me they don't look necessarily like a 200 dollar reel but you know if you close your eyes and you just spin the handle this thing feels and sounds like a 200 dollar reel five bearings daiwa five bearings shimano another tie I forgot to mention the gear ratios of these reels 5.3 to 1 5.3 to 1 and 5.0 to 1 so advantage Shimano as far as I'm concerned the lower the better now 
The next point of comparison is really important to me and I'm curious to hear uh, other people's opinion about it. But uh, actually the reason you see these three reels here and the other two in the back too uh, is not because um, I only like Daiwa and Shimano. Uh, I have other baitcast reels. But it's because of this particular point here. You know, I go to fishing shows, I go to Cabela's, Bass Pro, and I'll just test all the reels they have. I'll test the Quantums, the Fugers, the 13 Fishing, the Abus, uh, all of the brands. And, uh, you know, recently, even the reels under $100 have begun feeling really, really smooth. So I think in terms of smoothness, Daiwa and Shimano right now don't stand very far from the competition. Uh, perhaps, perhaps they do still uh, a little bit better even in terms of smoothness, but not very far. But the one thing these reels uh, stand far from the competition, in my opinion, is the uh, what I call resistance to spinning or inertia. Uh, this is, you know, when you grab a reel and when you push the handle, how much force is it required to initially, from stopped to moving, to initially start uh, the rotor spinning, okay? These three reels, all three of them, they feel incredibly light. You just push very slightly the handle and they start moving. And once you use such a reel, this thing is addictive. Like everything else becomes less important. You know, spool sounds. You want to feel this thing, uh, this uh, lightness uh, when you fish. You want to just touch uh, and, and the, the rotor spins. Uh, and in this respect, none of the other brands guys uh, if if you know any other reel that feels as light as this 50 dollar legalis let me know but uh, i think i've i've tried everything on the market and i don't know anything else that feels even close uh, to as light and as little inertia as these three reels now, which of these three feels the lightest is actually a very interesting uh, question because, like we said, the Sahara is 50 grams heavier than the other two. So the rotor should be heavier and heavier mass has more inertia. That's a law of physics. So I don't understand why, but to me, I mean, again, they're all really light feeling reels, really low inertia. But to me, the Sahara actually is the easiest to spin, you know, from stop. It's the easiest to spin, the lightest feeling reel of them all. Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but this is what I feel. Even though they're all very close, to me, this is the lightest. And uh, that's why I mentioned when you, when I was putting the line on this reel, I didn't feel that it was heavier than the other two. And I think the reason is this lightness of the, of, of the spinning of the handle makes, uh, makes you feel the, the reel is overall lighter. Guys, uh, if you're in the market for a finesse spinning reel, don't buy another brand before trying one of these. Uh, it is very different from, from, from everything else. Even the other Daiwa reels from the same family, the Tatula LT and the Ballistic LT, they don't have this light feeling, okay? They don't. Uh, one of the reasons is they're only offered in 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. The gear ratio is one of the reasons uh, a reel will feel light. Uh, another reason is too many seals that rub against the shafts. This also creates resistance. But also the smoothness in the surface of the gears uh, uh, creates resistance as well. 
but the tattoo and the ballistic due to gear ratio or seals or I don't know what they have significantly more resistance to spinning than than the cheaper ones and and I don't like that to me that's a turn off I honestly prefer any of these three reels to the Tatula or the ballistic just in terms of fishing experience not in terms of durability or whatever else But the way it feels when I fish I prefer these three over the more expensive tattoo and ballistic and that's just me And now aesthetics. I know nobody else compares reels on uh, aesthetics because it's you know totally subjective but I do and uh, let's call out the easy part first you know which reel is the ugliest you know by a safe margin i mean i love shimano but this reel is the most expensive and look at this handle okay doesn't this look like a 20 dollar handle to you just overall and look at this it looks like a cheap plastic i mean compare to the much cheaper legales okay i mean this looks like the 200 dollar theory this looks like the 20 dollar sienna i mean come on uh, you have hagani gears inside g3 body x ship and then you put this 20 dollar ugly piece of you know something otherwise they put uh, the pearl paint but and the gold color, I can't stand it. Why with the gold? So to me, thin bail. This reel looks significantly worse than the other two. Now comparing the Exceller and the Legalis is more difficult. There is a small difference in spools. I don't know which ones, which spool you like better. To me the Legalis pool looks a little bit nicer and then the other difference is the handles. The handles are identical except one of them is gold. What is with the gold? Okay, This is not a hip hop uh, clip we're making here. Uh, it's not salt water either. I know the salt water guys have a fetish for gold. This is fresh water. I can't stand gold uh, and it has the pearl paint instead of the matte black. But uh, guys, to me, the most beautiful reel of the pack is this clean looking, a little bit, doesn't look that goldish, it looks more like bronze, uh, legalis. Uh, there is a reason why this uh, expensive reel comes with a black handle, black just looks better to me. But I'm used from the European, uh, you know, kind of reels they don't have this kind of colors in Europe but uh, look at this joint looks expensive man compare with uh, this joint here huh? come on so yeah subjective or not for me Legalis looks the best guys I want to talk uh, a lot more about these reels but this video is already ridiculously long Remember, I will be comparing all five of them once I get to actually use them on the water. So if you want to see that video in a couple of months, please uh, subscribe uh, for my channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the description. And I will see you next time.